Welcome back, everybody, to the only conference in college football that matters besides the Big Ten. What is going on in real college football? I don't know. But anyways, man, in this, we are Kentucky. We are 0-2. We are ranked number 96 in the nation. Things aren't going right, okay? I think I'm about to have Kentucky worse off than what they really were during this time in their history. I think. I'm not quite sure, but I think so. So we're taking on Alabama. They have cracked the top 25 at number 25. Can we win on the road? Can we get the job done versus the mighty, mighty Crimson Tide of Alabama? So Lorenzen, he's going to get sacked, and just like that, we got our answer. We're going to get sacked, we cough up the ball, and now Alabama got it set up first down and goal. They're going to run the ball, but look at this defense. Defense coming up strong on that play. Second down and goal, we wrap up the tailback, and now it's going to be third down and goal. They run it into the teeth of the defense, and you are not Derrick Henry. Then they give it to the fullback, and he's like, I can do this, though. And he can do that. Touchdown, Alabama. And just like that, the Crimson Tide, they have the lead. 7 nothing is the score. We're going to run the ball. I'm like, in this game, I think we need to run the football. Yes, Lorenzen is one of the best quarterbacks in the SEC. But we got to run the ball. We can't just be too pass happy. And then Jared Lorenzen does stuff like this, and I'm like, we got to be pass happy. But no, we got to be disciplined. Great catch by our All-American receiver. Now we're going to run the ball, and we're going to get tattooed. And now we're looking at second down and nine. We run the ball again, and that's a nice gain. I ain't mad at it, okay? Third down and four. Can we convert here? Lorenzen over the middle. Caught. First down, move those chains. We're going to run the ball. We want to get shut down, but that's okay. That's our backup tailback. One thing you can't do is switch your package in this game. That's one thing I forgot. They did not introduce that until, I think, NCAA 05. So, yeah, that's one thing I had to get used to. I, I got to let my boys get tired and then bring in the backup who can't hang on to the rock. Okay, he's losing the rock like you're losing your lunch if you're anorexic. I'm sorry. Anyways, we're going to force the fumble, though. 21 came to play. He forces the fumble on the sack, recovers that fumble, and now we got this thing going to the fullback. I, I got to get the fullbacks involved. Second down and eight. Lorenzen looking downfield, going to throw it, and that pass is caught, and we have a set up first down and a goal as we head to the second quarter. So first and goal, we're going to run the ball with the fullback. They knew it was coming. I don't know who their head coach is. I don't know who their defensive coordinator is, but he's good. He's really good. Lorenzen to the – that was just bad. I forgot what route my Titan was running. That, I'm sorry, it's bad, okay? I know it's bad, all right? It's, it's, it's real bad. I haven't played this game seriously in years, okay? Just be patient with me. I need my defense to have my back, and right now that option attack is giving us fits. First down and 10. The fullback gets to carry. And the fullback works his way upfield for a gain of nine. Third and inches. Look at the blocking by the fullback. The running back does get tripped up, but they do have a first down. So the chains are moving again. They throw it. Little wide receiver screen, kind of. More like a little hitch. I don't know if that was the main uh, receiver on that pass pattern. And I know number 21 was it. He has a pick now. To go with his sack strip and a fumble recovery. 30, 20, get loose, baby. And he gets brought down inside the tent. I wish he would have took that thing to the crib because who knows if we're going to be able to score. Scoring has not been easy for us in this game. And I mean in NCAA 2004. But that pass was a Dawkins dime. And it's a touchdown for the Bluegrass Nation. Okay, the Kentucky Wildcats are on the board. We tied up at 7-0. So first down and 10 for Alabama. This could be a defensive struggle. The receiver goes up top, makes the catch. He's like, struggle this. Second down, 10 yards to go. Going to the right side. That pass caught. Getting loose. Looking like another 80 from the Bay Area. Used to do his thing. Now, we get some pressure. They throw it, though. That pass is caught. And the Crimson Tide are just marching the ball effortlessly inside enemy territory. They run the ball. Excuse me. They pass it to number 80 again. That's a first down. So they're inside the red zone, but everything comes to a screeching halt. They're in field goal range, but they ain't going to make that one. That one is off the mark. No good, no soup for you. Eight seconds to go. We're going to take a shot deep off of the play fake. Man-on-man -man coverage with the safety. And we slightly overthrow our man. Second down and ten. Let's go for the Hail Mary. Why not going to throw it as far as hefty lefty can chuck that thing? And it's caught this time. They did not want to get a field goal, could they? If he catches that first pass, we're in field goal range, we take the lead. Okay, maybe not with my kicking skills, but maybe so. You never know. 7-7 seven, seven is the score. Number 25, Alabama will start the second half with the football. And look at the power. Look at the power by the quarterback. Now they're going to drop back, looking, throwing, and that pass is going to be caught. How many 12 quarter, number 12s play quarterback? 
Do they just not retire numbers? I'm thinking Namath. I'm thinking Stabler. I'm thinking John Parker Wilson. Was he 12? Maybe not. Maybe he was 14. I don't know. Anyways, they're going to run the ball right there. We're going to run the ball because we take over. Our defense, sticky, icky, icky. We're going to run that ball, and that's going to result in a gain of around three, maybe four yards. So here we go. Third down and four. We're going to drop back the pass. Jared Lorenzen. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not going to happen. It's, it's just not going to happen. They get pressure. The coverage is tight on the back end. It's just not going to work out for us. That does, though. That does work out for us. Big deep tackle coming through. So fourth and inches. They're going to go for it by going to the passing attack, and it works out. I call the cover two, and they drop back so far in the cover two. I, I, I got to get used to this. I just, I'm used to 06, obviously, but we got to get used to this. No excuses. We got numbers 25 on the ropes with the Yahoo. They hurt. I said, give me that Yahoo. Give me that user interception. So we got this thing going back the other way. We're going to go out that gut, and that's going to result in a gain of five. Second down of five. Give it to 25, and we go backwards one. Third and six. Slant route. Beautiful. Beautiful execution. That's going to take us to the fourth quarter of play. So all tied up. We got the football, but we get drilled in our back, and our quarterback is out. So you you, you got to block for him. I know he's as big as an offensive lineman, but you got to block for him. Third down and 16. Got our backup quarterback in. We're going to roll left, roll right, throw it from the pocket. And we should have did something besides throw it to number 10. He plays for the Crimson Tide. And then look at the return. Is he Ed Reed? Is he Barry Sanders playing safety with all them spin moves? I don't know, but I do know is that now we are down. And then we fumble it again. And this has turned out to be a disaster. But we do recover it. Third down and six. Can we convert this time? Looking downfield. And we get sacked yet again. And we would put this football away. You don't trust our defense, but your boy called a run-heavy defense. Because I'm thinking they're going to just try to take away the clock. But they go over the top. Touchdown. And now we're in serious trouble as we fumble the ball again and they recover it. So, yeah. We came to Alabama with hopes and dreams. And Alabama came and stole our hopes and dreams. That pass, though, intercepts, though. So maybe not. Look at the broken tackle. Up to the 20. Crosses the 30. Being chased as he works his way up to the 40-yard line. And this is exactly what we needed. So we're going to run the ball. No, play fake. Nearly intercepted again. So fourth and nine. Can we convert and keep our drive alive? Yes, we can. And yes, we did. Number seven is the truth. Look at downfield, we get hit, but it's still caught. And then look at the run after the catch, getting out of bounds inside the red zone. So we need a touchdown. A field goal does nothing for us. That pass caught and went in the end zone. Touchdown, Kentucky. Now we're going to kick the ball. Do we have all three timeouts? They run the ball two times, and they get six yards in total. Third and four, they go to the air. We engaged about nine guys. It was a nine-man pass rush to try to stop the run. They find their tight end, runs out of bounds to stop the clock. One more first down will officially end it, and they get that first down, and this one is over. And I thought that we were going to come into town and beat Alabama the way that first half, first half was working out. Our offense is still not where we want it to be. I'm having a hard time running the football in this one. Obviously, you guys can see that. Um, again, obviously, this team is a work in progress. Uh, Kentucky is not the best football program out there, obviously. Uh, but we got to get our running game right. We got to get, you know, our offensive line right. And that's going to come in the offseason recruiting. There is no in-season recruiting like an NCAA 06, obviously. Uh, but the one thing I'm really having an issue with is the passing game because the linebackers drop way further back or a lot further back than they do in 06. So that's just something I have to get used to. What I'm used to in 06 is not going to happen in this game, which I'm okay with. Again, I'm just, I just got to get used to it. It's only been three games, and we lost all three on rank number 100, taking on Indiana. This is a rivalry, and I'm thinking it's a rivalry because of the basketball side of things, and I said that in our Indiana dynasty way back when. So hopefully the football side of things will be a rivalry in my mind and in real life and in this game because right now I just don't see it. Do they still play like every year? Kentucky and Indiana, I want to say that they do, then I think about it, but I, I, I really don't know. When there goes our ground, ground attack, maybe Alabama's defense is just different, as it should be. We're going to run the ball again, and that's actually not, not a bad game. Gain of five right there. We go up the gut again, and that's going to be a gain of around two. So third down, three yards to go. Can we convert? We do. So obviously, Jared Lorenzen, he was fine. Obviously, he's playing today. That pass was a good one because it was completed. 
So can we win this game? Another game that we should be, you know, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the team. We shouldn't get blown out. Anyways, Lorenzen looking downfield. That pass caught, and that's going to be a first down for Hefty. Lefty, big BBQ, the big, beautiful quarterback. And now it's going to be second down to goal. We run the ball, and how we don't get in the end zone is absolutely ridiculous. Third and goal. Can we get into the end zone this time? No, it's dropped. And I'm like, let's kick the field goal. Let's take the lead. Let's take the lead because that's important. Scoring, it has been hard for us, as I mentioned, all right? So Indiana takes over from their own 20-yard line. They're going to go to the passing game, and that pass will be broken up. And now they're looking at a second down and 10. They go with the fullback. Up the guy, and the fullback gets loose for a little gain of five. That's actually quite a nice game for the fullback. Third down and five. That pass broken up in our defense. It's stepping up, man. After our first two games of the season, our defense is looking much better. But this offense still giving me some fits as we run the ball into the teeth of the defense for a gain of two. Third down and eight. We're going to throw it to the flat. Probably should have went with square. Number 12 is coming across the middle. Got to go with him on that play. Threw it to my tailback, hoping he could, one, make the catch, and then two, break a couple of tackles. Neither one happened because he couldn't catch the football. And that's just not a good look, if you ask me. So second down and seven. They're going to run this one up the gut, and that's going to work out for a little something. Some. Then look, 21 is that guy. Best nickel cornerback in the country. Yes, I'm biased. That pass almost dropped. He bobbled it. He was hanging on to it by a, 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 a fingernail, but he did hang on to it, and then I wish I would have made a different decision there. Why did we throw the ball there? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. It was zone. I just didn't think the linebacker was going to get over there that fast. But he did. He surprised me. Third down and one. They're going to run the ball. Nice spin move to pick up the extra yardage that he needed because he got met in the backfield. But it did not matter. Now the fullback is just chugging those legs, turning those legs over. It's going to be a gain of eight. Direct snap to the tailback. And now they're inside the five. Third and goal. Up that gut. But there's a flag on the play. Holding. Bring that thing all the way back. So third and goal. Time to force him to set up for a field goal. Right. Wrong. Touchdown, Indiana, and the Hoosiers are up 7-3. to three. So we got 26 seconds on the clock. Don't want to turn the ball over. We want to make a play downfield, and we do that on third down. First and 10, 21 seconds on the clock. Lorenzo going to roll left, still rolling, going to throw this one deep, and that pass is cut. And now we're starting to cook in our passing game just a little bit. 13 seconds to work with. The, the, the protection is good. The pass is even better. First down. We have no more timeouts. We want seven. We want seven, and that pass is dropped. Okay, he got hit. Whatever. Second down to goal. Still no timeouts, and we overthrow our man. And I'm like, okay, we got to kick it. Because I don't want to miss out on not getting points, and kicking the field goal will still make it a one-possession lead, even if they score a touchdown. They'll probably go for a regular PAT, obviously, and they'll make it a... 14 to 6 ball game just thinking ahead but we can stop them here then the touchdown will give us the lead by basically a full touchdown so i thought the field goal was the right thing to do i know some of y'all get mad at me for my uh sim style of play or maybe just my uh not you know aggressive enough style of play my conservative side of play second down and nine that pass or 19 excuse me is caught it's gonna be a first down by the heads of the chitty chin chip we're gonna send the blitz and that's good coverage on the back end. I get nervous sending blitzes sometimes because I know our secondary isn't the best. That pass caught. And that's a first down as they cross in the Kentucky territory and across the border. Now, they run the ball. Go nowhere fast. Defense, nothing but heat seeking missiles on the defense side of the ball. Okay, the blue squad is shutting down the red squad. Now, can the defense get us off the field? Third down and five. Can we? Yes, we can unless they go for it and they, they, they're going to go for it up the gut and they pick it up and then some. They work their way up to the 25-yard line, second down and two. They fake the pitch. They give it to the fullback. Nice design on that play and they pick it up by Billy Eyelash. Now they're going to run that ball again. Nice physical run by their backup fullback. I think this team likes to run the football, which I love. Respect the tailbacks. And pay them, especially in college. In ideals, everybody get some. Everybody get you some. They go up the gut. The fullback not gonna get nothing except for a first down. Now they run the ball with the fullback again. We shut them down. So we're gonna head to the fourth quarter. Still down by just one. We are in this ball game, but we gotta get a stop here. Second down to go. They run the ball. Touchdown Hoosiers. So who is your daddy? Who's your daddy? First and ten. 
for the Kentucky Wildcats. Can we come back? We're down by eight. Can we come back running the football? Maybe not. We're going to run the ball again, though, and we get to the outside. Good block there. Another good block by the fullback, and that's going to be a first down. Thank you very much. First down and 10. We're going to run the ball again. Another, okay, the fullback got in the way. I can't say it was a good block, but he got in the way, and that was good enough for a gain of three. Now we're going to drop back, throw to the tight end. He drops it. Like, we can't have that, bro. I need y'all to make these catches for me. Third down and seven. We're going to roll left. Throw it. Dropped. At least he got hit. But I need y'all to catch it. And Jared is like, I need y'all to catch it. Fourth down. We're going to go for it. Back to number 17. Who makes the catch this time? Thank you, sir. We're going to run the ball again. You notice when we run the ball, we go on the goal line? That, that's the only thing I feel like is going to work. And that time, we lost two on the play. So second down and 12. We're going to roll to the left side. Waiting. Throwing it over the middle. That was dangerous. Probably should have went with number 12 again. He, are, he is our best receiver. But sometimes I'll be like, I don't know. And then that time, I do not know. I, I just don't know. I did not think he was going to cross in front of my Titans face. But he did that. He surely did that. And that's another interception for us. Another turnover for us in this episode. And this is not good football right now. But that is. But that's not. We got an interception, then we fumbled the football, and man, oh man, are we struggling to say the least. They're going to go up the gut, and that's a touchdown, man, and this thing is basically over. So let's figure out this playbook. Let's figure out a game plan. We're going to throw that slant route. Okay, slants seem to be, they, they work if we could just hang on to the football the whole way through. Third down and 12, play fake. They throw it off for the hands of the diving receiver. And they would set up for a field goal. 24 to 6 is now the score. Look at now if they're going to drop it off to the to the tailback again. This the, the in the zone defenses, they just drop back so far that underneath routes, I think we can cook with, but it depends on what coverage it is, obviously, because sometimes they be sitting right there. That's a Dawkins dime, but who cares about Dawkins dimes when you're down by about three scores with five seconds on the clock and to throw that thing. Both of y'all had your hands on it, and not, not a one of y'all caught it. That is just so disappointing to me. You're going to throw this one up top. Last chance to dance, and the girl rejected you, and you're just going to have to dance by yourself. And that's, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with dancing by yourself. At least you're dancing. At least you're dancing. Anyways, we done lost another game. We are 0-4. Can we make a bowl game? The SEC, even back in NCAA 4 is no joke. Florida is ranked. Um, I think we got to play Tennessee this season, and they're pretty good. So, yeah, we're going to see what we can do, man. But I am excited for this series. I think it's going to be a fun one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. And until we meet again, my friends, peace, love. Hi, sauce.